so today we will be seeing about uh, uh, Asana, like we've seen about Trello before as a one of the tools to use for using in, in while trying to pro manage projects and today is another one which is Asana. So they have uh, actually very similar features but slightly different. So we usually use Trello for a simple task and it's also easy to use. The Asana is also easy to use but it uh, is mostly used for things that are a little bit complicated or um, yeah than uh, for using Trello. So but they have the um, same type of uh, usage, same type of plan to use and uh, different uh, many types of same features but differs in their uh, difference in slightly. So it's a comprehensive work management as Trello and as other project management tools and it is designed to help individuals in teams keep track of tasks, delegate responsibilities, monitor progress and communicate in real time. So by just providing centralized platform for the collaboration, it helps the team to stay organized and focused, ensuring that project yeah, projects are done in time. Okay, it is not in here. Uh, that is the plan of using any project management like Trello and any other one. There are different ones, right? Uh, Jira and things like that. It depends on what type of project are we dealing with. It is just project management uh, in uh, social field. Maybe there is the project management in the software field. So what type of project are we managing that sometimes decide which type of project management tool do I need to use? So what can we do, we do with it? It's uh, the hero. So it's uh, a general concept, which is coordination and collaboration. Then it will increase the personal productivity by letting us to see what type of task are we supposed to deliver in what time and um, uh, planning the planning or putting a right schedule for the tasks that needs to be done and then it will increase transparency and accountability in your work it just means that since you're going to do uh, work in a collaborative way then every person will know what type of task is supposed to be delivered from him or from her so that we need we're going to ask that specific person for actually we have also seen notion right with same uh, concepts so it is not going to be that that different and then there's the reporting and sharing results. Maybe what is a, a good part of uh, Asana is that we're going to see uh, based on the change or based on the implementation that the individual assignees have done or based on their progress, we're going to see the report and the result on that UI, okay? So yeah, uh, rather than, or of course, they're going to maybe people or assignees are going to prepare specific reports or specific results they're going to share, but Rather than that, we can just get the results and the reporting and the progress from just seeing their uh, seeing the asana. So how is that organized? Um, it, those are the main things that we can get or that we can manipulate and change uh, in uh, asana. So its structure is designed to create seamless connection between the users and the, and the work they are responsible for, right? So the first one is the goal. So there is this picture. Uh, the big picture like organization or in my big company. So starting from that, there is the uh, the goal you might put as a company or maybe as a project, okay? So we're, since we're going to specify different types of projects, then um, what do we expect from that project or what is the goal of that specific project? We can put that as a goals and goals are highly level objective that represent the overreaching priorities for an organization or team. So they are set within Asana goals and provide clear direction for the work being done. Uh, yeah, sometimes, but we're like rather than just defining them as a goal, we can also define the plan of what this project is doing in the description format of the the first description format of the project. Okay, then there's the proto the portfolios, which is uh, or it means that it's going to include different type of people or different assignees since it's going to be members and different people doing that specific project so we're going to include those portfolios they are containers that group related projects together so they help track progress towards specific initiative or objectives so at the end we're also going to see the uh, or we're going to track the report or the mm, working progress of those people 
And there's the project, which is the main thing. It's organize and manage work related to specific initiative, right? Based on it is in a specific company or it is just a project taken for a personal thing. It's going to manage work related to specific initiatives. So there is the project house task and subtask. It includes subtask inside it, inside it. So it is defined here. So uh, it is, there's the project, the task, and the subtask. So of course, you can understand from the name and no need to go through it. So there's the task. They have due dates and can be assigned to specific team member. And there is the subtask, which is the smaller unit of the task. Okay. So yeah, just we can go to the demonstration here uh, from your paper. And we can just go to this page, right? Yeah. Already provided with the link. It's not going to be hard for you. Yeah, we can. You can go for both the uh, desktop app or for the browser app. It's already opened here. So there's this is the first thing that we might see. So I have already logged in. That is why. Uh, you can uh, we can you're, you're seeing that there is one project here or we can just create since the first thing that we want or that we go uh, that we will include our tasks or our self tasks inside is on, under the project so let's go to the project so in order to de to demonstrate uh, to see everything we can use the blank project so there's the list so i think you guys also can remember the list the board um, what is missing is here is the chart, and what is missing in Trello is the Gantt and the can the Gantt chart and the I mean not the uh, yeah the Gantt calendar is not in Trello and the um, cards not card chart okay there is a card in cards in uh, Trello if you if you remember so there is here we can see the list in the board so the first we we got put a project name which is let's see. Um, Example, this is the same name that we used for Trello to, I guess. Yeah, let's see. So inside the board, same um, approach or same concept as uh, Trello. Okay. So there's the, here we can see, you can you see that there's the count in the calendar, or it's sometimes uh, you can check it as a time flow. So it will just see you, uh, I mean, uh, let you see that. Uh, in what time frame are is this project assigned for this person and in what time frame are we expecting the delivery of the specific task and maybe there is the there will be a dependency between uh, each project due to the calendar so also you might show us that so we're going to see that okay so yeah let's just with this name let's uh, have just looked in us uh rg so it, it will be my first team and there is 14 mainly on or and for the private members you can choose whatever you want and let's create the project okay so uh here as you can see there is uh, by default we have just it had just opened on the calendar it is it goes the same okay we can start from the list and so you can and also from inside the board it will just follow each other okay what you have put it here will be tracked on the charts on the calendar yeah so let's start from the list okay here we can add uh, a, a section and then email so let's just maybe you're for example based on the project that you're provided for example on the on our specific project, we are uh, on the project of this week. We're planning a wedding, right? So you might uh, divide the uh, the pre and the after the wedding and the, the during the wedding sessions or before this time, before quarters. And you can plan. You, you can make a section based on that. Okay. Let's say section one, the first one, and you can add section two here. If it was the first project to be created or the X access, it could have created its own uh, uh, default template of uh, the sections. Section 2, let's see. Let's check X access. At least you can see that the, the, here is the to do. Also, this is also in uh, trailer. You can see the to do in progress in the completed tasks. We can just get them here, okay? So we also can just put or create here. Uh, section one and section two okay 
So we can add tasks here, which is going to be like, or add task or add milestone. You just put them in a milestone form or, yeah, accomplish. Milestone one. Do task well, it's just okay. Maybe as yes, we can just put all the tasks as a milestone, and yeah, which is going to be uh better, right? So here we can we got the we can put as any which is uh it was it will go it will list you people who are using um, trailer or signing, or you can just invite teammates via email, and then you can put the due date, which is the calendar. Let's just put a random date. This is for let's say for tomorrow, okay? Maybe let's say for today, it's okay. Yeah, that's for today. And maybe uh this must be milestone two. And this is for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we will just assign people uh, here. We can just and we can put the let's just assign ourselves for the time being and someone called us late. Okay. So, yeah, this way we can add the section, uh, the, the different sections and different milestone on every section. So, okay. We've done this on our list, but when we go to on, on uh, when we go to the board, we can see uh, the milestones and the sections that we have created. Uh, here, okay, we have just not we there is no. I think this is just a draft. Okay, let's go to the first uh, section. Those we can get here the person that we have assigned the tasks and the projects. Uh, yeah, it is under the project example one. Yeah, we know when, uh, the, how we created this task, and we can also put a description about the milestones that we've footed here, okay? So that it would be easier to um, to understand the milestone here for the person that is assigned. Also, we can add some attachments. So, yeah, we can put, uh, we can copy the link, or here we can add or attach files from maybe from the it would be easier to add from the google drive and from our computer since it's going to ask us to uh, assign or to sign up for the dropbox we can just add or attach files that we see that it will be going to be, it will be a good resource for the person that signed here or it will be a good reference okay so yeah just like this we can assign uh, tasks and things like that okay so the other thing that you might hear in the dashboard, since we have uh, put it some tasks that some tasks that are needed to be done and things like that, it, it is going to track the completed task, the incomplete task, the the, the the overdue tasks and things like that here. Okay. On the, the calendar, you can just see that there are the two tasks, but let's see. Um, Later, let's add some tasks here. Two tasks two and two tasks three and so, uh. Here we can see there there will be the um, yeah it will show it will show the tasks that are supposed to be done on every specified task. But what I was looking for is that there is the dependency. Okay, you can one of the one work is the one of the tasks might depend on the other. Since maybe there is a project that is needed a task that is needed to be done on Wednesday, and then there is this task on Tuesday. So we can connect both the, um, tasks and. It's, it was supposed to be on uh, time way. Okay. So this is for today, and this is the tomorrow task. Okay. Okay. 
So let's if we are going to connect this, it means that the task, this task depends on this, okay? Mark the accomplished milestone two as dependency on accomplishment milestone one. So if we're not going to accomplish the, this milestone, we cannot proceed for to this milestone, okay? So here maybe in the list we will be able to see that. You can see that here uh, for accomplishment milestone, milestone one. This there is something blocking it. What is that? There is the accomplishment milestone two. So in order to accomplish this, and like let's go to accomplishment milestone two. It is blocked by accomplishment milestone one, okay? So this means that in order to accomplish milestone two, we need to accomplish milestone one. So yeah, we can create dependencies of tasks just like this. Yeah, dig more and you will find another very different types of uh, uh, tools to use, okay? Okay, so and the other thing is in here in overview, like, here, like in order to show whether you're uh, doing or you're working on this project, on overview part, you can just put that that you are whether let's see that we're whether on track or at risk. Okay, so uh, updating your um, status, you can put the date here. You can add uh, any attachments or specifically you can add summary. Okay, I'm working on this. This project is going go or uh, going wait or things like that. Okay. Or maybe at risk or maybe off track and also the project summary here. Mm, so uh, maybe uh, in order to put, so after assigning every, uh, after assigning a person for a uh, specific task, uh, it's going to, it, it's a, it is supposed to notify that person, uh, like while we are reaching for that day or for the deadline, that person needs to be uh, announced or notified, right? So we can, um, this uh, the trailer by itself will track the notification part but maybe you can go to the setting part and on the notification you can browse the notification so you say whether to upload them okay you, uh, what are we supposed to upload for the notification maybe if you're mentioned or every activities or you don't need any notification so depending on the update of or the status of your notification on um, uh, Asana, I think I've just said Trello. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. Yeah, depending on this activity, that person will be um, notified for doing a specific task. So, uh, yeah, go through the every parts, uh, every uh, things that you're supposed to do. So we've just covered the main the main parts. Yeah, assigning the task and then the, the self tasks and assigning the person and things like that. So, but you need to go to every steps. Maybe in the customization part, there is this, uh, you can customize by connecting it to other apps, forms, um, so if that is uh, important, but it's not important in the, this next challenge. So you can go through different uh, variables. So thank you everyone. This is the, the this is all about mm -hmm. today's session. So maybe if you have some question, I think there's something on the chat. Is it possible to set up to streamline the project? Okay. What do you mean by streamlining the project? So then it is online. Streamline, you, you mean like updating if that project is done, if that task is done or not, right? So then, uh, yeah, you're there, right? So then, yeah, it is possible. So one of the things that you're supposed to do is, like as I have mentioned before, the specific thing that we that Asana differs from Trello is one of the things is that we you can see the reports and you can track they can track the progress of uh, the on that specific task of everyone. So like, yeah, you need to get how to if that person had said that he accomplished the task on that time on the report, we need to see that the task is accomplished or not. Also, if it has if it has passed the deadline, or uh, or things like that, it may, it will it will uh, send the uh, actually not if it had passed, but yeah, while arriving the deadline, it will send the notification for the sign. So one of the big, the major things that you're going to one of the major reasons that you're going to use Asana for is that the streamlining. How, uh, 
did I answer your question, Justin? Justin? I like to have it so that the task creation assignment in duty setting based on track. So you like to have it so that task creation, yeah, assignments in duty setting based on task completion. I haven't under, I, I, I'm the, yeah, I just understood the sentences, but I didn't understand the question. Since there's a question mark, they like to have it so that the task creation assignment, yeah, you can create the task, you can assign, you can put due dates, due date setting based on task completion. So what it is going to do based on task completion is that it is, if there, as I have mentioned earlier, if there's a task that depends on other tasks, then it is going to notify that person that it is his uh, that the other person hadn't uh, accomplished the task, which means also this one can tell us that it, it uh, it's streamlined the project we're looking so it's going to recognize us the other person had finished or said that he had finished the task and then it is he's going to proceed for it's going he's going to be notified to start his project so that's because the other person had finished so it, it can streamline the project That is if I get your question right. So then. Okay, until then, maybe another other questions. Okay. Thank you. Other questions? Okay, so Nelly. So Nelly, you can you can go. So uh, I am not able to hear you. My mic is not working. Okay. Yeah, it seems so. Maybe you can write it here. Yes. Yeah, uh, I think uh, I have just shown that uh, Kero writing something like you you can assign the tutors for the yeah for that one. Is there a way to make Kero that kind of autofills the other categories automatically after task creation? What do you mean by uh, the other categories? like the other tools so you're thinking that you're not going to put the tasks as a task and then they're going to be assigned after the like maybe task task is going to be assigned after completing task one is that the plan i uh, know you you need to put the task every tasks and yeah you need to put every task and you need to unlike assign that for everyone so they're going to be on end of in order so they're they are used for managing the projects to see the progress of the projects so that is whole, the whole point of project management i'm using the project management tools so they're not going to use that type of thing as much as i know they're not going to put the out of it but if they do yeah, you need to search for that but i they don't i don't think so um no excuse yeah so i think yeah this is all everyone thank you for being here and goodbye